In this video, we will set up our Facebook Ads transfer to BigQuery using Supermetrics. I already have one video about uh, connections, so we already set up our Supermetrics folder and connected it to our Supermetrics account. And in this video, we will set up uh, transfer itself. Let me introduce myself if you don't know yet. My name is Gala. I'm a Looker Studio expert and founder of Gala Reports. On my website, you can see now free Facebook ads dashboard. Uh, you have a lot of articles about Looker Studio, Google Sheets and BigQuery and some templates for your marketing and sales. But let's back to our topic. So we have BigQuery. We have Supermetrics. We already log in. I will not teach you how to log in there. Uh, we created Supermetrics folder, and in this folder we will uh, set up some transfers. On Supermetrics hub, we have our uh, data sources. I already connected my Google Ads and Facebook Ads accounts. We can connect something else, but for now we will set up transfer for Facebook Ads. Uh, how to do it? Uh, if you need to connect your new account, this is super easy. For example, I want to connect Google Analytics 4. I just click to connect. I have authorization panel. I just do authorization uh, with this login. And I allow Supermetrics all everything because I trust them. And that's it. So this is how I create a connection. I created Google Analytics connection. I think I have only one uh, property for this account so i didn't have i didn't set up uh, which exactly google analytics i connect because for this email i have only one uh, but you can choose which email which google analytics property you want to connect so you connect data sources that you are interested in i show you how to do it it's super easy then we go to uh, storage we have doubted storage destination that we set up on previous video. And here is my BigQuery dataset Supermetrics. Then we have Table Manager. Let's skip it for now. And we have Transfers. I have zero here. And let's create our first transfer. Super easy. Select our data source Facebook. Destination, we have only one. Uh, it's BigQuery. Nothing else. We can just click Next. Then I have a lot of accounts, so I select only my Facebook Ads account, uh, my own, that I use for some tests. I have little spencer, but it's absolutely enough for our educational purpose. So there are much more interesting things. For example, tables. So here we should select what exactly what we want to export to BigQuery. Here we have table group of tables. We have some predefined tables and I will use them because for me, for my purpose, it is more than enough. If you want something specific, you can do it. For standard tables, I will have Facebook ads, video, campaign, uh, conversion, get and age. It's exactly what normally I use in reporting. I can set up some filters. I can see which fields exactly we will pull to BigQuery. And it's so nice that Supermetrics created this predefined stuff, so you don't need to select every field manually and you don't need to think about really API and how it works. And we have refresh method, so it's a pant and the duplicate. And this is two days difference and I really like this. Or we can do two days refresh window. So if yesterday data had some error, it will be rewrite it. But two day, three days ago, it's already not. Uh, or we can select full refresh. What is better for you? You can decide if you have small accounts and you don't trust this connector, like Apps Flyer, for example, they like to update data back days like some previous periods you can select full refresh if you have big account or you want to save money for bigquery you do this one because you will pull less data so you spend less money for bigquery for me it perfectly works this one so i change nothing in the schema i just wanted to show you filters so this is i wanted to show you all tables for me it works refresh window two days for me works 
We can schedule how often do we want to pull this data. For me, uh, for example, I want to pull it every day at 1 a.m. Europe Lisbon time because I am in Lisbon. And send alerts. If something goes wrong, we can send alert to email or to Slack. If you contact your Slack, super nice. Uh, then Facebook Ads has this attribution window. Oh my God, this is so much pain usually with reports with this attribution window. So be careful. I keep default. If you know that your accounts use some specific, please select it because you can have different conversion based on different attribution window. And I know when people just start to work with Facebook ads, it's a lot of pain. So we keep default, exclude ads and ads set with zero impression. If you have big account, I recommend to do it. Include deleted ads. I don't want. So basically that is it. We can click next. Then we uh, name our transfer. For me, it will be Facebook ads daily reports because I pull my own account. And uh, run transfer after saving, run a back fail after saving. So we can pull latest data or full run. I want to pull full. full. I think today is the 1st of August, two okay, months, for example, it will be enough for me. And I want save transfer and after saving. It will run. So we are loading our data now. We have it in transfer. When it will finish, uh, I think I already can um, update my BigQuery. And my Supermetrics folder already has folders that we didn't have before. This is our Supermetrics folders uh, and this group of tables. I have a lot of videos already about Google Analytics. So the same logic of uh, addition table will work here and you can use this data already so you can directly connect it to looker studio you can um, to looker if you want to work with looker or you can create a query and work with this data in big query for example what do we have a campaign manager i can do query this table i want to query everything where date more than whatever 20 of july um we can use this table and it will be updates daily and I think it's super nice. So you have all your data that you can work, you can do any joins. Um, you have like ads, Google Search Console, whatever. You can join it here in BigQuery and it's super nice. I'm really fan of it. Hope you too right now. You see how simple to set up this export and you have access to your ads data on a professional level. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give like to this video, follow me in Instagram, YouTube, like to my blog. Sometimes once per month I have some emails with some secrets, bonuses. And that's it for today. Bye bye.